Hi, Victor here. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to get a bursting bubbles effect. By using yet another amazing feature of Create Studio Pro, that can be found under Components, and that is, the Spotlight. Masking in Create Studio Pro is working in a very different way from what we knew in the previous software. That is a massive improvement, getting for us a huge leap in the animation process, that will help anyone create better videos, faster. One of these days, I was creating the YouTuber Elements template, and I had to create this bursting bubbles effect for one of the YouTube lower thirds. Almost instantly, I thought, that this effect I must share with you guys. And so, this tutorial idea came to life. Just for you to know, I also have a marketplace with templates, to open and edit yourself inside Create Studio Pro. Beside tutorials about Create Studio Pro, I also create templates for different activity domains, and different purposes, which I publish on my marketplace. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. So, let's burst some bubbles. I am starting by adding a circle, and I'll make that white. Next, I'm making a copy of this white circle, and I will name this one on top, Mask. Let's open Components, and bring in the Spotlight. I can close back Components, and I will change the color of the Spotlight to white. Now, I will add a custom animation, I'll select Scale, and for easing I will choose Expo. Having the playhead at the very beginning, where the first animation keyframe is, I set the starting size of the spotlight by opening the properties, and I bring the size value to 0. Moving the playhead on the last keyframe of the animation, which represents the end part of the animation, I'll bring up the size of the spotlight, a little bit more just to get its margins outside of the white circle named earlier as mask. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see here that right in the center, I have the white circle, and I will use that white circle to mask the spotlight. So the spotlight will only animate, scaling up, inside the boundaries of the circle mask. So when it will continue to scale outside of the boundaries of its mask, it will no longer be visible at all, and that is what will create the bursting bubble effect. Now, this circle actually serves as the first instant of the initial white bubble. So, I'm making this circle only one second long, but depending on your needs or your animation, you can have the first instant white circle as long as you need it. Selecting both the circle, and the animated spotlight. Actually, before I do that, let me just increase the opacity of the spotlight background, all the way up to 100%, to have a full white color, just like the circle. Now, I can go on selecting them, and I'll group them together. Let me just rename the group. I will name it, Spotlight Group. Next, I'll select both the group and the mask, and I will mask the group with the circle mask. Let's see for now the effect I've just created. The animation is a little bit too fast. To have a nicer effect like a bursting bubble, it needs to be slower. So, I go inside the group, and I'm going to extend the animation length by dragging this keyframe to the right. Let's have another preview. It looks much better now. I can resize the group to make it smaller, and let's make some more bubbles, simply by duplicating the one I've just created, multiple times, and changing their size to have different bubbles of different sizes. Now, I have more bubbles but as you can see, they all burst in the same time, so to have them burst on random timing, I will just go inside each group, and I will set the duration of the scaling animation, to random length for each one. As this is a repetitive task, I will fast forward these adjustments a little bit. Now let's have another preview. Just great. Now the effect looks much more like some bursting bubbles. This is how you can mask a spotlight, and get a really beautiful effect of some bursting bubbles. If you find this tutorial helpful, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, to be notified for the upcoming tutorials on my channel. And if you need some done for you templates to customize yourself in Create Studio Pro, make sure to check out my template marketplace. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, 
have fun creating.